downtown. I'm putting on this cute yellow dress. Let me move back so I can show you. I'm putting on this cute yellow dress. It's just it just reaches on the knees. And my this is my favorite bag. By now you know. I don't know because it's just small enough. Not too small, not too big, and it's cute. So I carry it everywhere I go. And I have this. And this is my makeup look. And I love my pearl earrings and this. Ah, I'll just feel cute. So I am going to a government office. And if you know, these offices, I'm actually late. I wanted to leave in the morning, but there's no way that I could just get up and leave my house. That I don't know what it is these days. I just don't want to be in a place that is not clean. So I have to at least just clean the house first, get ready, and then leave. Let me go and show you what I can, and then see you when I'm back. <laughs> So hi guys, guess who I met? <laughs> Kajo. <laughs> you guys, please, please subscribe to Linda Mary's channel. She's amazing. I love, love, love her so much. Thank We've you. been like communicating for the longest time. Yeah. I watch her videos every single day. Yeah. I don't even miss a video. So please, you have no excuse not to watch her. She was telling me that she was just watch, watching me. Yeah, I was watching lunch. her video and then I paused, went for lunch and I met her on the way back. When I was just looking, just her, Linda Mary, this one, this one, this person knows me. And then she rushed out. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I'm, so okay, happy. I'm so happy. You made my day. You made thank too, you. Too. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What's on the you in the lunch? prepare dinner actually whatever it is I wanted to, I, I was going to do today was successful I got the documents that I was going for but now I want to prepare mashed potatoes Taraji told me that it's been a while since we ate mashed potatoes and she misses it so I'm going to do mashed with beef I normally just peel them and then boil them I don't cut them into small pieces and these ones are smaller I peel them I boil them and then I mash them with milk oh but did I buy milk yeah, I mash, them, I mash them with milk and also with margarine. So I'm going to use blue band. That's it. And then beef, I'm just going to prepare it normally. So I want to put this away. But now, what is giving me joy is this soup. This bone broth. Guy, guys, if you're able to buy this soup, I will buy it. This thing has a lot of health benefits to people. Especially when it comes to bones. Like, and you know what? It's very... Ooh, I don't want to spin. It's very cheap. Can you imagine all this going for 20 shillings? 20 shillings as opposed to if you boil it in your home for 7 hours. And the way we normally boil, if you normally boil these things in your home, you're just doing it for fun most of the time. You cannot boil it to the level that is required. You cannot boil it for 7 to 8 hours. <laughs> that is the level that is required for them to produce those 
whatever it is, these vitamins or whatever that they need to produce, they need to be boiled for around eight hours. These ones are normally boiled for eight hours. So bright you can see. And it's tasty, that's the nice thing. So this is for Taraji. I want her to cool. I want her to test. I don't know if she like it. That is the day I gave you. I, I gave you but you didn't like it. Okay, you'll test it today too. Because it's too hot. It's so nice. It's so nice. Hmm. Actually, it's not even too hot. You're going to just have it right now. It has cooled somehow. I don't know how. <laughs> okay, let me bring you the soup you test. Okay. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see your reaction today. If you don't like it or if you like it. It's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Oh, so you're going to take it? Okay. Okay. That's nice. This this soup tasted like um matumbo soup. Matumbo <laughs> soup. <laughs> okay. Mm, mm. I'm happy like it so mm. let me cook. You can go watch. Mm. Guys, you need to try this. Even if you have a daughter or a son, let them try. <laughs> the first time they won't like it, <laughs> but the second time they will like it. And it's so good. <laughs> Cindy or mom? Yes, it is. Is it? Is it so good even it helps our bones and strength? To become strong. Uh-huh. Mm. And, uh, and helps our bones. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I am healthy. <laughs> okay, mom. Well, there's something about the weather when we're out on our own. Something about the path that leads us forever home We don't need a reason Just changing with the seasons Following the feeling in our souls Now that you're with me We're chasing daylight And we're so fully alive Well, I can't believe The world's still turning soft but not this soft i think i used too many too much milk or i gave the person who was pouring the milk too much milk 
you guys but the chest still the same you guys i am beat i cannot bring myself to carry this ring that i do go and set up in the living room so let us just see it and he's already eating see you tomorrow hey loves i want to film a youtube video so i'm ready it's actually in the afternoon <laughs> But I've not been oiling my scalp. I don't know why. I just want to oil it just a little bit. If you're a woman and you don't have coconut oil, I really don't know. I really don't know what you're doing with your life. And this one is written virgin coconut oil. It is so cheap. I buy it in the supermarket like less than 200 shillings. You can use coconut oil on your scalp. You can use coconut oil on your face. You can use coconut oil on your body. You can use it when you shave for women. If you're shaving so you don't itch. I talked about this in the feminine hygiene video. When, whenever, well, before I started buying these skincare products last year, I used to apply coconut oil and then I do makeup. It was acting as my primer, so it acts as that barrier between you and makeup protects your skin. Really, there are so many things, reasons for you to use coconut oil. If you're using the one that you can use for cooking, like Kentes, this is not for cooking, though it's uh, virgin or organic or doesn't have chemicals. If you're buying, please buy this one, especially if you're using it. No. So, if you have the Kentest one, or the ones that you can use for cooking, you can even do oil pulling, which is like putting it in your mouth, swallowing, spitting it out after some time, it helps to brighten or whiten your teeth. So many benefits. So, if you don't have coconut oil, again, I repeat, as a woman, I don't know what you're doing with your life. So, I done with that. This so can look fresh. I'm loving this this hairstyle. I'm telling you, even if I don't do anything on my face, oh, how much am I spraying? <laughs> even if I don't do much on my face, like I just look half put together, halfway put together. So I want to film a video this about uh, things I've never done. Sometimes I just like to break this monotony of vlogs all the time. You can you just know what to expect. You know me. I'll drop something random <laughs> that you're not expecting. So these are like I get to know me. Sometimes I normally ask you guys questions uh, so that you can get to know me and I respond. But these ones I'm just going to tell you things that I've never done in my life. So as a way of you getting to know me. But before we do this first one, hey, let me give you good news. Today, the 27th of February, 2024, I am officially date free. And to do that, you know those, is it those animal things where they do? Oh, Guys, I've wanted to clear my days for the past like two years. Two years. Like actively, yes, of course, people have deaths here and there. But from 22, I'm telling you that is the year that I accumulated deaths like I've never accumulated deaths in my life. Because that year was taking me like this. So I just kept borrowing and borrowing and borrowing and borrowing. So I could like take care of my basic human needs and the debts kept piling and piling and piling. And a few are like borrowing from people, but majorly, majorly they were from mobile loans. It's easier for me to borrow from mobile loans than borrow from people because I feel like, for example, if I borrowed from me and then I told you I would return next week and then I'm not able to and then it creates that bad blood between us. So and then you, the bad thing, the thing about mobile loans is their interest rates. Woo! Some have crazy interest rates. They want to give you a certain amount and then they want to you to repay three times the amount they gave you it's crazy so because i took long to repay from around 2022 the interest had also accumulated this i'm telling you there's a time i had like a book my my i have two books where are those books this is the book that i was using last year there's a time i actively now decided in 2022 there was nothing i could do about the debts there was nothing as much as i wanted to so last year after January, that's when I moved out of my brother's house and I got to my own house again. So, from then, I decided that February to start paying debts. And I gave myself time. I think that I want to pay them in the next three to four months. So, what I've been doing is that every month or any time I get um, uh, money in my budget, if you look at my monthly budget when I'm paying due school fees, due rent, whatever, whatever, I have a section for debts. So, I'll look, depending on how much I have, which debt can I clear off. So uh, I, I was just picking them like debt by debt, mobile loan by mobile loan, 
I'm going to look for the pages where I wrote and see if I can share something with you. You see, I started the process in 2022 actually, but these were small loans because that year was the year I was borrowing the most. So I was borrowing as I repay, borrowing as I repay. So I just wrote down the loans that I had at that time. These were mobile loans, Zenka, Timiza, you see, this, it was this amount by July with interest, it got this amount, it was getting higher, I paid only that small amount, this one, at this point, this was even a lender, I cleared, I ticked, this was Fuliza, I cleared, this was another lender, I cleared, these were small loans because I was borrowing and also taking the loans. This is 23rd of yeah i don't know is that september i don't know august and guys when i did my video on my youtube journey i used to tell you that mimi i took youtube as part of my uh my life like you see here my to-do list was film a video whatever i was writing at this time i was still writing so i was writing this for a client i was writing these tests for another client i was filming you know and then Obviously, I can't. I don't want to show you at all my bills, but as you can see, this is my budget for that time. You can see Fuliza number five, Fuliza loan repayment, KCB Mpesa loan repayment. That was in 2022. I was paying small, small amounts, and then I continued borrowing, and the amounts kept like increasing and increasing. So last year, 2023, that's when I actively decided that you know what, I want to clear these debts. So I would write down every month, I pick a debt, I clear it in full. I pick a debt, I clear it in full because the debts increase and increase and increase. I'm going to look for, like, now this is 2023. Hey, let me show you one month of 2023, the way it was looking. Because 2023, you are seeing debts like, oh, 3,000, 2,000. To some of you, it may be small. Hey, <laughs> but when you don't have money, let me show you the debts that I paid in February now. Oh, of course, I've covered my other... <laughs> Budgets, but as you can see from there, it's written loan or debts. That is Timiza, 5756. I've ticked it before because I paid it. The next one, KCB Mpesa, is also a loan. If you're in Kenya, you know these loan apps. That's the second one. Skip that one. Um, loan equity. The third one is also a loan. You see plus interest. I ticked it. So in February alone, I paid three loans. That 5756 So today, still in February, apart from these three that I've shown you, I paid the last one today, which was like <laughs> a big amount also. It was over 5000 And I'd already paid like, this is around, I don't know, 8000 The same month. The same month. <laughs> there was one month. Though, so in total, this month I've paid, uh, Abu, let me see. 10,200. No, that's 11,000. So this month alone, I've paid almost 14,000 in debt. Yeah. Around there, I can't do the calculations now. In one month. And I'm not rich. Hey, <laughs> you people. There was a month, a few months ago, that I paid debts that were more than my rent. That were my rent plus other thousands on top. I think that's the month that. I felt the most, I was like, this money, I could have used it to do something, I could have bought something, I could have even enjoyed myself, because I've been like, um, what is it called, Kujinima, I've, I've not been indulging or letting myself like, enjoy some things or have some simple pleasure, so I could pay this day. That month, I paid more than my rent in debt, plus my other bills are waiting for you. And this month, and tomorrow, this morning, I was like, should I pay this thing within half or something? Because I was like, I have used up the money that I had. I have less money left. This is the money that I have. But they had a waiver, this particular app, they had a waiver. So if I paid before tomorrow, I was going to pay less by around 2500 I was like, you know what? Let me just take advantage. Let me just send that money and clear it. The money for my other things will come. It will come. Good thing I've taken care of my major bills. I was like, the money will come. So the minute I paid that last amount, I'm telling you the relief that I felt. I just feel like I danced here, I've danced here for some time. I was just like, whoo, whoo. Because I've just been feeling like there's a, there's a weight. Like, I don't know, there are people who don't care if they have debts. Maybe those things weigh me down. I just feel like I can't be free. I can't even do this. I can't do this. Because every, for the past, I think, for the past one year, because I started this journey in February, and now it's February, exactly one year. For the past one year, every single time I've gotten money, or every month that I've gotten money, a certain amount has been going towards paying debt. So sometimes I've just been feeling like, sometimes I feel like I have money, actually, 
for the first few months I can say that I've had money here and there. But again, the next minute I don't have because I am paying debt. So now I've finished, I have paid everyone's debt. The next thing is that I think after some time they're going to remove my list from the creditors list. I don't know if it's after, after a year because I've been listed on you know, defaulters. CRB, but um, I don't want to wait for one year because this is one of my financial goals for 2024 in my vision board. I want to, the next money that I get, I'm going to go to that credit, whatever. I'm going to pay the money that I'm supposed to pay so that they can remove my name and give me a certificate, a clean certificate of my credit history. <laughs> It is Thursday around midday. I want to cook. I've done this. I've, I've done this because I want to cook, so I don't want the hair to be in my face. I'm still contemplating how to cook. I've already cooked halfway. I've boiled uh, dengu dengu ni green grams. I've already boiled them. I want to prepare them, but I'm still wondering do I prepare rice so we eat right now and then I do chapati in the evening. Something just tells me just prepare chapati now so you can eat so the food can be ready. And you can also have chapati now and also in the evening. I'm confused, but we'll see. let me show you what I'm working with. So, first of all, this is what happened. Imagine. I was boiling the green grams. I don't know what happened. I don't know if the heat was too much. I didn't check. The water was finished. Ugh, I had to throw away like a lot of them. And then I got the ones that I could salvage. And then I boiled them afresh in this pot. So these ones look better. This is what I want to prepare. If you're preparing green grams, you either need to let them boil until they get to a point where they look like they're mashed on their own. Or you need to mash them. If I was cooking this with rice, I would cook it like this. I would just fry onions, tomatoes, you know, spices, and then put this with soup. But since I'm preparing with chapati, I want it to be like curry, as smooth as possible, almost like porridge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pound it. Is it pound it? Kubonda bonda. I'm just going to take a cup and I pound it some more so that it can be one mixture. It's normally so sweet. If you're preparing green grams, you should not have green grams down and then the soup floating on top it should be one thing so over here is where i want to prepare chapati i want to boil some water because i need warm water these are the only things i use to prepare chapati i don't do extra the all-purpose flour it's been a while since i used ndovu actually i don't even know if i've ever used ndovu i normally use a jab or dollar i think it's someone who brought me this Someone I think was visiting me and they brought me Ndovu. So you have, I have used my all purpose and then this is what I used to, to mix it. But now this is what I used to cook it on the pan. I'll melt this so it can be liquid and then on the pan so it can give that yellow color. And then I use salt. So it's salt, the flour itself, um, cooking oil and then warm water. But then also... I want to use blue band. Sometimes I use blue band once in a while to just make it extra soft. It's not a must, but I'm going to use just like a teaspoon or half of it. And I'm going to mix everything here and then fry in the pan. I know I have non-stick, but this is the pan that I'm comfortable with when it comes to cooking chapati. I feel like it's heavy, so it won't burn. So that's what so that's for chapati. For that green grams, I'm only going to just fry onions, tomatoes, garlic. I bought this at night, surely. Imagine by now it, it has already withered. I didn't want to get out again because it's so hot. So that's it. So whichever way, I'll know I'll cook chapati. I don't know if you are having it now or for supper, but I'll just show you roughly.
she like, she like. If you smoke, she smoke. I got the taste. And if you're hungry, girl, I got the lace. Oh, baby, don't get me waiting. There's so much love we could be making. I'm talking kissing, cuddling. Again, it goes to small, to shapes, you know, those nice shapes. I may not do that today. I'm tired. And another thing, we are expecting visitors. We are expecting visitors, and they just told me that they'll be here in the evening, not now. So that means that you don't have to cook everything now. So I just want to cook three to four chapatis so Taraji and I can have lunch, and then we'll come back and cook the rest. This is how you know your chapati is good. It's just getting in very well. It's like. And it's not sticky and it's not dry. So for now I'm just going to pinch three or four, cook, and then when I come back I may do that fancy rolling or not. Loki, I love them down they notice. I'm not joking, no my guys them them know me. Since oh six, I've been writing the story. I know the OG, but if you ask them, them know me. I know they blow trees, only knowing me lonely. Music chose me, just no deeps and no peace. I hate OG, but I'm never lonely. Sexy ladies, come on, you feel me slowly. This 
consistency is okay because we'll warm it up in the evening. The more you warm it up, the thicker it becomes or the more it cools. But you see how it is. If you don't mash your green grams the way I showed you, they won't be these, like this. If you don't mash them or you let them boil to a point where they feel like they're breaking. And this is how you're supposed to eat with uh, chapati. It's not supposed to be dengue at the bottom and soup floating on top. So this is okay for this is Taraji's food, so I'll also serve mine. Catch you later. Maybe when I'm preparing the rest of the chapati, so I'll just show you when I'm done. making the is it pumpkin or whatever but you normally don't do a lot salt water cooking oil the only extra thing sometimes is blue band and they are yummy as well so we're expecting very very and pepper yes i'm so excited <laughs> you said today is the best day ever i don't want to warm these chapatis again so that's why i'm covering them because it's already 7 pm so i know they'll be here in time i've got a small one so I want them to be warm. Actually, this is how I like my chapati. I like chapati that are cooked and then they sit for a while. Not that they are cooked and then we eat immediately. If you let chapati or groundnuts sit, they taste way, way better. It's my vana, and they make each other good with it. Like they continue cooking each other, so they'll be softer even compared to if eat them now. So when they arrive, I just warm up the green grams. We are salted. Mm -hmm. It's a sleepover because obviously it's at night. It's a sleepover. It's a sleepover. Let's arrange this day of exactly.
not to mix it. Pal, you show it red one, long grey.
Hey guys, we are back home. It is at night. We are tired. We want to rest. So today is the 1st of March, Friday. You guys are going to watch this video tomorrow, 2nd of March, which is Saturday. So if you're watching it and you're interested in being part of the YouTube Masterclass, it's happening next weekend on 9th of March, 2024. So if you're interested, again, send me an email or DM me and then I'll direct you on how to pay. So with that said, let me close this video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah, na sana and see you in my next video.